Hi there everybody, my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve SSRF lab number 7 from Web Security Academy which is the last lab and again it is an expert level lab because there is whitelisting going on and what whitelisting is is that let's say there is a domain which is google.com and that is allowed and rest of the things are not allowed so when I am sending a request if in the URL there is google.com it will give me 200 ok response and if there is anything which is without google.com it will get blocked out so that is called white listing so i will be going to solve this lab and let's see how we can bypass this white list because in the previous labs we did black listing bypass and now we will be going to do white listing bypass so that being said let's jump in now coming over here the last lab is SSRF with whitelist based input filter and coming back over here it says this lab has a stock check feature we need to solve the lab and we need to again delete user Carlos and the developer has deployed an anti SSRF defense you need to bypass so let's access the lab right over here and we can see this again shop and again I know first of all I need to switch my burp suite on and coming back over here my burp suit is ready let's click on view details just to confirm whether i'm having this one and there is product id is equal to one going on now in the previous lab i did install collaborator everywhere but let me see if it is working still it should but um or i think so it didn't found in the referer header or different headers but it should be working in the background if i can see that in my logger now this one is showing me my previous request but that's fine so coming back over here i am having my check stock feature and again this is the request which comes in and yes so send the request to repeater and send over here now i can see that there are 106 items in the stock so if i see the url right over here in the url it shows me that this URL is stock or let me just decode it right over here. So if I simply do control shift U onto my keyboard, it will decode this one. Okay. So what is whitelisting? Whitelisting is that, okay, it is calling this domain. So stock dot we like to shop dot net. And then it is calling port 8080. Then there is some endpoints and then the product ID is one and store ID is equal to one. So the whitelisting means that let's say if I remove this URL, so I will simply control X and just to save it somewhere, I will paste it over here and come back to repeater. And if I do try to do SSRF basic techniques like 127001 send and it will show me in the response that I am only allowed to use stock dot we like to shop dot net. So this is called whitelisting that now only this domain is is whitelisted so if i try to do something sort of stock dot we like to shop dot net and hit send now it shows me 500 internal server error so now this is showing me some other error but it is showing you so now how can i do ssrf attack over here now there is again a very famous technique or famous exploitation thing in terms of the URL parser because this is a URL right over here so we can try to play with this thing and one of the famous thing is that we can also embed usernames and passwords right over here before the domain name or a subdomain name so it should be something sort of admin colon admin at and this one this one also works and is a famous part of the URL which also works so if i click on send over here let's see what happened again i got 500 internal server error that is fine as well so one more thing which i can try to do is because this part is like username and password is the part of the url one thing which i can try to play with this thing is that i can try to add a hash sign and what hash sign does is actually hash sign you can say in easy terms i will just try to explain you but that that's not the actual meaning hash mark says that whatever is afterwards it does get commented out. you can just try to understand this thing right now in this case so if i hit send 
now I got an error. It says external stock check host must be this thing. So now it is showing me that this one is gone. Okay. So what I can try to do is what if I remove the password and if I hit send. It then again I got external stock check host must be this thing. So something is going strange. If I try to let's say okay so after hash this one is not existing that's why it is showing me this thing uh, but it should exist what if I try to URL encode this hash send now stock check has to be okay WR encode oh it does work so now you see what's the difference so now when I did this thing this is the hash sign so percentage 23 20 or 25 23 that this is the hash sign and whatever after hash is doesn't exist but it is not giving me error because it is saying that okay it does exist over here so that's the meaning of the hash sign that it is existing but the URL parser is getting tricked over here. Now, what URL parser we think is that before hash sign is the actual URL. Okay, so that's how we will try to bypass it. So if before hash sign, if I try to do something sort of local host, because it will think that before hash sign, it is a URL. And since this domain is also in the URL, so URL parser will only call this part over here and after hash sign it will not call that one. So we can bypass the whitelist as well and we can call our local host as well. So if I try to hit send and you can see I got 200. Okay, if I just render this one, let's see what happens. It doesn't show anything. Okay, we got the same page and we do have the admin panel over here. So we are now having SSRF vulnerability. So the next thing which we can try to do is because one thing which looks like to me is I can try to do over here admin and try to delete but it again shows me this error message. So to fix this error message again what I can try to do is I can append that slash admin endpoint at end and hit send. Now if I go to render you will see that now admin panel is over here and now I can directly delete the username which is Carlos so I will say slash I think so it is delete slash username or I think so it is question mark username is equal to Carlos and hit send and it says 30 to found follow redirection and the user has been deleted so that's how actually we try to bypass the whitelisting because that hash sign is very important and in the URL parser gets tricked out and before the hash sign it says that this is the actual URL but we are also having the domain name which is whitelisted after the hash sign and we do have an SSRF. So that was all about this video. I hope you will like it and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.